Well, it's that time of year again. Gotta deal with snow broom. Got a little bit of snow. At least it's not six inches of snow and ice. I gotta come out here and clean out, clean off cars. It's a Saturday. It's been kind of slow. Hours have been really sucky. This is the one I just drove from home, so uh, just knocking a little off for the heck of it on this one. But, uh, so hours have been slow at work. Ain't really been working. And I, I do do a lot of side work on Saturdays. If you don't have one of these snow brooms, man, you gotta get you one of these snow brooms. These things are nice. This one I've had, I don't know, three or four years up here. Usually I've been greedy with this one, not letting people use it. Because every one I get, they stink and break. People ain't careful and they, they're not indestructible. So, you know, if you get four or five inches on there trying to push it real crazy, you know, you can break them. But um, yeah, if you don't have one of these, get you one for the winter. This one's collapsible and foldable. Got that on the other end. But they've got cheaper ones that, uh, let's see, I gotta put a, a diagnosis and probably put a starter on it tomorrow. So, or maybe later today. Side work. Um, clean it off a little bit. I don't have a drain in the front part where I'm at in the shop. So, I can't just uh, pull them in with snow on them and then they freaking drip and get all wet under my toolbox. And I gotta get as much of it off as I can. But I won't leave that one because I gotta go back here and actually get the one that I'm pulling in now, which is a Chevy Traverse 17 or something. Gotta put a transmission in it. So it's been slow and you get a little lazy when it's slow. So I have to uh, get my butt in gear, start working longer hours. Tax time's coming up and uh, my checks have been close to stinking half of what they used to be. So, I gotta start putting some effort in. Turn some hours. Make some money. Okay. I do not know where this car is out here. I believe it's this one right here. And it's been out here a few weeks, so. That's why I brought the jump box out, just in case it's dead. inside and blow it off with the air gun a little bit I should have pulled it in last night before it snowed because now while I'm pulling the transmission out I'm gonna have it dripping on my head all day or you know half a day whatever this stinking burr out there. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Staying warm. I should have put some gloves on. My stinking hands are about freezing. blow it off right here because whatever goes on the ground here will stay over here and it won't go across this crease line here if you got anything in this bay that's got snow on it it'll just fill up underneath my cart there can't have that 
And then if you got anything in this bay with snow on it, it makes its way over underneath to my toolbox because we don't have a drain. Well, and I got snow all down my jacket. So this one, you know, it wasn't too bad. It just had, I don't know, not about an inch of snow, you know. Um, but, you know, mechanics, technicians, most of those are flat rate. And this is just uh, extra time that we don't get paid for. So, something we got to deal with. I'm going to get her back in over there. And then I'm going to get it up in the air, get the oil and coolant drained. And I'm going to drop the whole engine and transmission out of this thing just to change the transmission. You can put a hanger bar up top and uh, hold the engine up and uh, drop the subframe in the transmission. But I haven't did it that way in probably four years. Because I can have the whole engine and transmission out of there in less than an hour. So, that's probably how I'm going to do it. And if you want to know how to drop an engine and a transmission out of an Acadia or a Traverse, or, um, I have a full video. It's just about, I don't know. 30, 40 minutes long probably, but it's step by step how to drop the engine and transmission out of one of these. All right, I got it up in the air. Get my 11 millimeter. Drain out the transmission fluid here. <laughs> video of uh, engine and transmission removal on one of these so probably not gonna do that again since I already got one out there but if you need to know how to drop an engine and transmission and cradle out of one of these you can go watch my other video on my channel All right, so who pulls the Acadia and Traverse transmissions like this am I the only one or do other people do it like this also? Put your cherry picker hook right there where the shifter cable goes. I know I could have dropped the subframe and put an engine hanger up there. Anybody else do it like this? Now it is a little more of a pain in the butt because it is all wheel drive. Um, not so much getting the tranny off, but getting the transmission back on, getting it lined up with having to deal with this shaft and making sure your seal's good and all that. But that's how I do it. Who else does it like that? Deuce.